go on to basic drug math. And there are two most common ways to solve. And one is using ratio and proportion, and the other is usually using the formula. And the formula, if you could just make notes, it's desired, or I think what the doctor has ordered, D, over H times quantity. H stands for what's on hand, or what the, when you're looking at the bottle in your hand, what does it say? You know, there's uh, 10 milligrams per one tab, and your quantity is tab. But sometimes, if we're giving a liquid, it would be so much per 5 mils, etc. Or if we're down here, we're going to look at potassium chloride. So first of all, let's just take a very basic order. The physician has ordered Lasix or furosemide, 80 milligrams, PO, daily. And when you look at the bottle, it says 40 milligrams per tap. So let's use the formula first. So we want to fill in desired over H times Q. So desired is 80. On hand is 40, and it's a good idea to put the units so you know to cross out. Times the quantity, which is 1. And so, 1 tab. So we're crossing out both milligrams, and we know we've set it up right because our answer is going to be in tabs. Now again, whenever you have a 0, you can do that whole divide by 10 for divide by this 8. Uh, so I move the decimal over once, and you have to do it top and bottom. So I have 8 over 4, which is equal to 2, or 2 tabs. Now what I do, when I'm guesstimating, I go, okay, I have 40, he wants 80, there's only 40 milligrams in a tab, I need 80, so my answer has to be greater than 1. Now I know a lot of you can do this in your head, but it's a simp they do get more complicated, so we just want to give you a simple example. Now I'm going to come over here and do ratio and proportion, which is actually the method I prefer. So, what have we got? What are we given? We look at the bottle, we have 40 milligrams is one tab, which is equal to 80 milligrams is X tabs. We're going to cross multiply. 80 times 1 equals 40x. We're going to isolate x by dividing both times by 40. So there's our x isolated. We don't have to worry about times 1. I just added it so you would know. And again, I'm going to do this and this, and I have 8 divided by 4. So my answer is 2 tabs. x equals 2 tabs. It can get more complicated as we look at fluids. And in this case, we're adding um, KCL to a big IV bag. And remember, you're going to mix it well, but we're, it, it, we don't have any that are pre-mixed, so we're going to have to add it. So we go uh, and find the KCL, and we see that the um, ampule says that it's 30 mil equivalents per 15 mils. The physician has ordered 20 mil equivalents added to a full liter of normal saline. So let's do ratio and proportion first. So we have 30 mil equivalents is to 15 mils as 20 mil equivalents is to x, sorry, mils. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to cross multiply. 30x equals 15 times 20. Divide both sides by 30. And so we've isolated x, but here's where I'm going to move that decimal over. And just, I'm going to divide both, both these by 10. So divide by 10, divide by 10. So now I have 15 times 2 divided by 3. But I know that 3 goes into 5, 5 times. So I'm going to go 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 5, 5 times, and my answer is going to be 10 mils. Now go back and let's, let's guesstimate. 30 mil equivalents is 10 mils, or 15 mils. 30 mil equivalents is 15 mils. We want 20. 
it has to be less than 15. And our answer is plus 30 is double this, 20 is double the 10. So you, you're always thinking. Now, if you prefer the formula, and many people do prefer the, prefer the formula, um, it's just my personal preference to do ratio and proportion, but there's nothing wrong with the formula. So if we were doing the formula, let's D over H times Q. Okay, desired, he has ordered 20 milliequivalents. Over what's on hand is 30 milliequivalents times our quantity, which is 15 mils. We know we've set it up right because our answer is going to be in mils. Those are cross out. Well, I hope you know this, but 15 goes into 30 twice. Most of these are created so it's easy math and you'll just memorize that. 15 goes into 30 twice. Now we have 20 divided by 2. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 20 10 times. So our answer is 10 mils. We go back, we guesstimate again, 30 mil equivalents to 15. We want 20. It has to be less than 15. It's 10. Potassium is a very serious drug. I suggest you do it by hand. Check it with a calculator and have somebody else check with you. Many hospitals require that you have that double checked because it is a very potent uh, medication. Before we uh, go on to do more complex drug math, I want to talk about digoxin because digoxin, I believe, is on every drug math test and will be on your uh, registration exam. Number one, because it's a critical medication, it slows the heart. Remember, many, many, many institutions say hold the digoxin if the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute because it does slow the heart and it can be very, very toxic. So, most orders for digoxin come as, in oral form, 0 0.25 milligrams, 0 0.125, or 0 0.0625. It just so happens for oral, it's supplied as this per tab. Now, I've written this out, and this is something we, I always tell students, never have a trailing zero. But I wanted to show you so you could clearly understand that this is half of this and this is half of that. Okay, so I'm going to cover up. 0 0.25 is bigger than 0 0.12, which is bigger than 0 0.06. So two of these make that. Two of these make this. Do you want me to do that one more time? Okay. Even here. Two of these make this. So two 125s make a 250. It's like double. Two of these make this. And so you can see, and I'll, I'll just print it out for you. 0 0.0625, 0 0.0625, add them together. Six and six is 12, one. And, oops, sorry. So you get 0 0.0125 and never have a trailing zero. And your 0 0.1250, put two of them together. And you get 0, 0, 2. So 0 0.25. And if you're a pictorial type person, here's your tab. 0 0.25 is one tab. You can see that a half a tab is 0 0.125 milligrams. So that's the half a tab. One quarter would be your 0 0.0625. And that digoxin in tablet form only comes as 0 0.25 or 0 0.125. So in this case, we have our tab. So one full tab is 0 0.125. A half a tab will be 0 0.0625. And so, let's think about this. I'm just going to come over here. If the physician, if it's supplied as 0 0.25 milligrams per tab, and the physician has ordered 0 0.125 milligrams, it looks like huge math. So if we were doing desired, over on hand, can you just realize 
I'm going to have, this is the only time I have you add a zero. That's one to two. Look, one to two. I'll get out of the way. Actually, I'll line that up better. Just a minute. Okay. Look here. It's one half. So if you have a 0 0.25 milligram tab, he's ordered 0 0.125. We're going to, that tab will be scored and we'll give a half a tab. Now, the, uh, or if he ordered 0 0.25, we'd give the tab. The other digoxin order might be 0 decimal 0 0.625. They're only needing a little bit. So that's what the doctor has ordered. On hand, we have 0 0.125 milligrams per tab. So, we do our formula. Desired, 0 decimal 0, 0.625. Divided by what's on hand, 0 0.125. And this is the only time I'm going to add my trailing 0 when I'm working with digoxin times 1. Okay, can you see? 6 over 12 is 1 half. So we're going to give half a tab. And I even suggest you do a cue card for digoxin, where you show, here's my tab that's 0 0.25, 0 0.125 milligrams is half. In this one, here's my tab that's 0 decimal 0.125. If the order is 0 decimal 0.125 and I've got that, I give one tab. If it's 0 decimal 0 0.625, I'm going to give half a tab. So it would be a good idea to do a cue card. You can still check with your math, but it makes this so much easier than trying to divide 0 0.625 by 0 0.1250. And believe me, you can do it, but it, you're more apt to make a mistake than if you look at that and you go, oh yeah, I've got that memorized. I know that. And so I think this will help you with digoxin. The only, I'm going to just flip this up. The only other thing is that the ampules, oh, maybe I'll get another piece of paper. Just one second. The ampules of the Joxon come as 0 0.5, 0 0.5 milligrams per two mils. So if we're giving this in ICU and we're giving IV because the person's having um, tachycardia and they want to slow the heart down, then let's do this. And then can you, that's milligrams. If we needed to give 0 0.25, can you see for my arm? It would be, that's half of that. So this would be half of this. So it would only be one mil. And uh, maybe we'll do another little clip just on this if it would help you. So I, I need to put some paper up, so I'll do one little clip just on this.